kind of scary. Johnny, your kid's scared of you? No, not at all. <laughs> Unfortunately. Like what the fuck? <laughs>
you can't lock out and your form goes all to hell. Yeah. You don't want to do sloppy reps. Every rep needs to be perfect. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling that every rep needs to be perfect. Wait, is, am I up again? Yeah. Damn, this is quick. All right, this is my last set. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you stop here until you get perfect. There, right there. Flex. Flex. There we go. Flex. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Sets of six up until again we don't want sloppy reps. Okay. Now we're gonna follow this up with some, you know, that's what we're gonna do the really high intensity sets. Yeah. But this here, these need to be perfect reps, explosive, generate a lot of power, generate a lot of force. Yeah. Good. 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 Look, dude, this good. Oh. Four percent body fat. <laughs> Go. Okay, control. And then drive. There we go. Control. Now drive. Good. Drive. There you go. It's a little bit of power strength training into a bodybuilding type workout. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's okay. Absolutely. You you gotta have compound movements that you. You, can, you know, as you get older, sometimes it's a little harder, but you never want to forget the compound movements. Incline barbells, one of my absolute favorite movements. Yeah. And what we do is we put them second in the rotation. So, you know, your risk of injury isn't bad. But beyond that, I think they actually work better for target muscle. Yeah. Because the first exercise we did, we established that mind-muscle connection. We were contracting the muscle really hard. Yeah. So they were fired up and ready to go headed into that second exercise. Yeah. So now that we've got the power work out of the way, now we're gonna do the classic bodybuilding, get as much blood in there, the craziest pump that we possibly can. never actually done this one for some reason. You just had him remove the handles. Yeah. Why? Because I, I feel like if you use the handles, the, it, 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 it clicks against each other, and like you have one arm like that, and one arm like this. Yeah. But if you lose the, the little thing there, there's nothing, the cable can like rub it against each other, and you're very equal, you can stop right here. Yeah. Like reverse spec deck, equal, instead of like not equal. Yeah. Come on. Come on, 96. 97. 98. Ah, okay. Woo! It's <laughs> kind of scary. Johnny, your kid's scared of you. No, not at all. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's like this one. You got this one? <laughs> Now that one? I've seen them, I've seen them on shoulders before, but never on a lap. Dude, Luda's lap vein. Luda's lap vein. 
Look at how my wrists are. Your wrists? Yeah, how I'm holding the dumbbell. Hmm. Little tweak. Why do I feel this in my traps so much all the time? Very, very common. Um, I think you can limit your range of motion to 90 degrees. Yeah. It'll help. But you got to really stay conscious of not doing this. Yeah. And you got to keep your shoulders low. And so this will get your traps. Yeah. But keep your shoulders low. So you're just using your shoulder. So. So don't rake. Like, be focused, be cognizant of keeping your shoulders down, okay? Yeah. So it's almost like partial reps. It's like a half partial. Yeah, you just it's don't go, and, and don't go over 90 degrees because when you're here to here, that you can't, I mean, it's going to contract. You can't stop it. Yeah. Antoine, do you feel like your straps? So you're doing it right. Yeah, it's not even coming parallel. Now, if they start burning your traps, yeah. cut your range of motion. Do smaller reps. Hmm, interesting. Know that. I think he angles you there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fire, man. To those, to chains, to those. Oh. 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 Kids aren't scared of you. What's your wife think of you looking like this? She doesn't care. She doesn't care? Nah. She's thinking cool? She doesn't. She, I think I think she wants me smaller. I think she wants me about 200 pounds. She wants me about 200 pounds? About 200. What are you? Right now? Yeah. 225. 225 at 5, 8? 5, 6 and a half. 5, 6 and a half. 225. 4% body fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn. 300 pounds in 30 days, Antoine. <laughs> which is which is one pound a day. Yeah. More like six weeks. Okay, we're done. I want some more of those aminos. How many grams of amino acids are you Well, you're getting over six of the um, EAAs. These aren't BCAAs, these are EAAs. It's a complete protein. You can't lay down new muscle tissue with a BCAA. It's, it's an incomplete protein. Wait a minute, what? I don't know anything about this. Yeah. This is different from a BCAA. Yeah, that's an EAA. It means it has all the essential aminos that are needed to actually build muscle. Okay. BCAA doesn't have all the essentials. And the essentials have BCAAs plus all the rest of them okay. to make it a complete protein. How many products in the market are EAAs instead of BCAA? Because mm. I never heard of that actually. There's that more people use BCAAs. Yeah. Just because of all the articles they've read over the years. Yeah. I think BCAAs can help with recovery. Yeah. And of course, leucine is very good. And leucine is, a, I mean, obviously that's your primary BCAA. Yeah. Um, but me personally, I would rather be able to lay down new muscle tissue. So I'm going to use an essential amino that's got the full spectrum of aminos. Yeah. Apparently this gym used to be a bank and I just walked to the water fountain and found this. Look at this vault door. Isn't that shit dope? I need one of these in my garage gym. One piece of advice. One piece of advice. One sentence. Yes. Have fun and enjoy life. That's a good bet. Nice to see you again. Right. <laughs> yeah. I am left-handed. Are you? Yeah. You're I didn't, I didn't yeah. notice him right with Whoa. his left hand. Yeah, right with my left hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Have All right. fun tonight. Okay. Yeah. You're the one. Here, drink this. Give it back. You're not gonna drink it. Give it back. I learned a lot from that workout and talking to him, man. This was a lot of stuff. Yeah, with your elbows? Yeah, fucking elbows, man. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? So, <laughs> you wanna go to the container store? There's a lot of crap in the fitness industry and bodybuilding world in terms of, you know, training and nutrition advice, but John, for the past 10 years, has been like the guy I've always gone to and to finally meet him and just learn and experience mountain dog training firsthand. It was amazing. I can't wait to come back here and train again. I think he likes me. <laughs> I think he thinks I think he's okay with me. So there will be more videos with John in the future. I'm writing down all the things that I've learned. 
uh, during the day and a half I've spent with John working on it. You know, besides the nutrition and training stuff, I asked him a lot of questions about running a business, how he runs his business. He's a, like a business mastermind. Um, and these are things that I can't, like, find in a book. I mean, it's just, it doesn't work the same way. You can read something and know it, but you can't really feel it and get it and just know, like, where, where it comes from matters. So actually... <sighs> This is the best way to learn is to actually meet these people and learn it firsthand by hanging out with them and asking them. Even just at Elite FTS the other day, there's a lot of things that John and Dave were talking about off camera that I was just like a fly on the wall, just overhearing, listening. I mean, even just like Monday, everyday stuff, I learned a lot from it. Me and Antoine, a little bit while longer here in Columbus. Check in the next video. Me and Antoine are going to go have some fun in Columbus, Ohio. And, uh,. We're going to chat a bit. Me and Antoine are going to chat, and you can see what we have brewing and what we're going to be planning to do together for the summer. So, I'm going to eat this cookie. Or what remains of it. <laughs>